So, I have conquered the most difficult of challenges, passed through the toughest of terrains, and now, after all this time, I am finally number one! Oh wait. Oh no. <sighs> hey guys, this is Alex from Searchburg, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about optimizing your website for Bing. But why Bing? Why now? Well, artificial intelligence is transforming the way we search and find information online. Bing, Microsoft's search engine, is leveraging AI to deliver more relevant, personalized, and engaging results to its users. As a result, Bing is gaining popularity and market share. Hence, it would be a good idea for marketers and SEOs to start taking their Bing ranking seriously. In this video, I will share tips for SEO success on Bing that can help you boost your visibility, traffic, and conversions on this growing platform. So, let's begin. Now, first thing to know is optimizing your site for Bing is not the same as optimizing it for Google, which still dominates the global search market. You need to understand the differences and similarities between the two search engines and apply the best practices that suit both. First, let's talk keywords. Bing tends to favor exact match keywords, while Google prefers a lot of semantic variations to keywords and uses its machine learning algorithm rank brain to understand user intent and query context. Bing also considers meta keywords as major ranking factors while Google ignores them. Next, backlinks. Now, when it comes to backlinks, there are some distinct differences, which are also laced with similarities. Google values quantity and quality of backlinks, while Bing focuses more on the quality and authority of the linking domains. Research has shown that Bing also prefers older domains with more trust. Google and Bing also view social signals differently, while Google considers social media signals as a secondary factor, Bing places more emphasis on them and sees strong social signals as an indicator of relevance and popularity. Another difference between the two is how they factor in multimedia. While Google relies mainly on text-based signals, Bing is better at understanding and indexing multimedia content. Research has seen rich content like images and videos better rewarded on Bing than on Google. So, now we know about some of the differences, let's get to the tips. Number one, boost your Bing SEO with exact match keywords and meta keywords. Bing is more literal than Google when it comes to understanding queries and matching keywords. This means that Bing will favor pages that use the exact words and phrases that users type in the search box. For example, if someone searches for how to make butter cookies, Bing will prefer pages that use this exact phrase in their title tags, meta descriptions, domain names, and h1 and h2 tags. Bing will also look for this phrase in the content of the page, especially in the first paragraph and the last paragraph. This doesn't mean that you should stuff your pages with keywords or use unnatural language. You still need to write for humans, not search engines. But you should try to use your target keywords as they are without changing their order or adding modifiers. For example, if your target keyword is best soccer shoe, don't use variations like top soccer shoe or best soccer shoes for little league. Use the exact keyword as it is. Number two, for the second tip, I recommend focusing on building high quality backlinks from authoritative sources to improve your website's ranking on Bing. Bing values the quality and authority of linking domains over the quantity of backlinks. The search engine favors two types of backlinks, organic links from relevant and trustworthy websites that drive real users to your site, and links from domains with extensions such as .edu, .org, and .gov. Additionally, Bing values links from old domains as it views age as a signal of trustworthiness. To ensure a strong backlink profile, it's essential to use reliable tools to analyze your backlink profile and identify opportunities for link building. 
I personally prefer RFs, but there are several decent ones out there. From there, you can then employ various strategies, such as guest posting, content marketing, and influencer outreach to earn more backlinks. If you're interested in learning more about how to obtain high quality links, consider checking out my videos on guest posting and link building. Finally, it's important to avoid black hat techniques, such as purchasing PBN links or participating in link schemes, as Bing can penalize you for engaging in these practices. By following these guidelines and implementing sound link building strategies, you can improve your website's ranking on Bing and attract more traffic to your site. Number three, the next tip is to optimize your images with descriptive file names and alt tags. To boost traffic to your site using Bing's powerful image search feature, it's crucial to optimize your images with descriptive file names and alt tags. These elements help Bing understand what your images are about and how they relate to your content, thereby increasing their chances of ranking well on Bing. A file name is simply the name you give to the image file you upload to your site. To optimize it for Bing SEO, use a descriptive name that accurately reflects the subject of your image. For instance, if you have an image of a whiteboard, use a file name such as whiteboard.jpg instead of something generic like image underscore 1234. This approach makes it easier for Bing to identify the subject of your image and match it to relevant queries. Alt tags are short, descriptive texts that explain the purpose of your image on the page. To optimize them for Bing, use relevant and descriptive words that match your content and keywords. For example, if you have an image of a chocolate cake on a recipe page, a suitable alt tag would be a slice of chocolate cake with whipped cream and strawberries. This description helps Bing understand the context of your image and its value to your content. A friendly disclaimer, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't optimize image descriptions in Google SEO. This is a general good to have SEO practice, regardless of the search engine you're on. Let's get on to the next one. A very important aspect of SEO is local listings for your business. So tip number four is add your site to Bing places for business and get some local backlinks from trusted sources. Bing values local relevance and authority when ranking websites for local queries. This means that if you have a business that serves a specific location or area, you need to optimize your site for local SEO. One of the best ways to do this is to add your site to Bing Places for Business. Bing Places for Business is a free service that allows you to create and manage your business listing on Bing. Similar to Google Business Profile, you can add information such as your business name, address, phone number, website, hours of operation, photos, and more. This will help Bing display your business information on the search results page and on Bing Maps when users search for your products or services. Although you need to double check every single bit of information, here's how you can create your business listing on Bing. Go to www.bingplaces.com and sign in with your Microsoft account. Search for your business. Yes, a listing may already exist. If you find a listing under your business name, click Claim Business. If you don't find a listing, click Create New Business. In the Location Dashboard, select a pin location for your business. Choose the most appropriate category for your business. Fill out the details of your business listing and upload photos. Verify your listing through phone, email, website, or by post. Finally, review and submit your listing. Now on to perhaps the most useful tip of all, getting familiar with Bing Webmaster Tools and using it the right way. Bing Webmaster Tools is a free service that helps you monitor and optimize your website for Bing Search Engine. You can use it to submit your sitemaps, analyze your SEO performance, research keywords, and more. Here are some steps to help you use Bing Webmaster Tools effectively. Here's a little action plan you can follow. Create a Bing Webmaster Tools account. Add and verify your website. Create and upload your sitemaps. Use the SEO tools and reports. Use the backlink tool to analyze your backlink profile and identify opportunities for link building. Use the keyword research tool to optimize your content and target relevant keywords. 
use the SEO report and site scan tool to identify issues and improve your site's quality performance. Use the dashboard and communication section to monitor your site's health and traffic trends. Honestly guys, Bing Webmasters has so many great SEO features built in. We've learned that closely following these guidelines will help your site's ranking more than any external tool out there. Whew. So that was quite a ride. But guess what? If you aren't being thorough, you might as well not do it. Regardless of what some shortcut artists may have told you, good SEO takes time. So take some time, implement these practices to your website, and watch your rank on Bing soar. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Alex from Searchburg, signing off.